What's going on you guys? It's your favorite piano teacher, Mike Esfahani, here with a little different video than I usually do. ADB Beats writes, where do you recommend a complete beginner to start playing minor melodies? That's a great question. So great in fact that I wasn't sure which direction to lead him, so I thought I'd make a video about it. So, I know a lot of you guys watching are aspiring producers, especially with rap and hip hop. And so, if you want to be successful at this, you have to know how to play your minor scales. If you know your minor scales, you're going to write loops, samples, and hooks much more effectively. You're also going to have a much easier time figuring out some of your favorite songs. I'm going to show you a strategy to figure out every single <laughs> can't even talk. Every single minor scale but I'm gonna show you some ones that use all the same fingers so that you could practice those and get them down really, really fast. And I'll even show you some classic hip hop songs that have stood the test of time that use these specific keys to just show you how important and substantial it is to know this. So let's get started. First of all, before we can even talk about minor scales, we have to know what a whole step and a half step is. A half step is one key to the very, very next key, up or down, black or white. So for example, a B and a C are a half step apart. They are right next to each other. A C to this black key, which is either a C sharp or a D flat, doesn't matter how you want to call it, at least for now, that's a half step apart. These are half steps. These are half steps coming down. <laughs> it screwed up. <laughs> and so on. So two halves equals a whole, of course. So two half steps is the same as a whole step. So if you start, say, on this C and you go up a whole step, well, count up two half steps. One, two. C to D is a whole step. D. D to E is a whole step. A little tricky here. E to one, two. F sharp is a whole step, this black key. So here's a bunch of whole steps. They can go sometimes, well, most of the time, white key to white key. They can sometimes even go black key to black key. So with that said, now that you have an understanding of what a half step and a whole step is, Let's break down A to A. A to A, all white keys, ignoring the black keys, and break down what it's made out of. Well, when I go to B, it's a whole step. When I go to C, it's a half step. To D, it's a whole step. To E, that's a whole step. To F, that's a half step. To G, that's a whole step. And to A, that's a whole step. So let me play that for you one more time. That was an A minor scale. And if we break it down, it went whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Or to shorten it, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Repeat that to yourself a million times. Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. If you have that memorized, you can choose any note you want, black or white, and congratulations, you have the minor scale down. You want to do it on this black key? Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. That was B flat minor. You want to do it on this B right here? Whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. It's important, by the way, that when you say what I just told you to memorize, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, don't start at the moment you play the note. That's going to throw you off. Because remember, we're counting the space in between the notes. So like, for example, I start on B, then I went whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. Anyway, the reason this is important is because it limits the use of notes that we would use. When you're writing a hook, let's say, you know, you're just trying to figure something out and you're going. 
you can kind of tell you're probably messing around with B minor there. So you know maybe not to use, I don't know, uh, this note. You can tell after I went like that, that F sounds terrible. It doesn't sound like it belongs. So after you kind of have fun applying that whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole, memorize to every, uh, memorize, that formula to every single note, I'm going to tell you that, or I'm going to show you that A, B, C, D, E, and G minor all have the same fingering, meaning that the right hand uses one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And again, if you want to get really comfortable and fluent in writing music, get really comfortable playing those scales. Let's do A minor. Now let's do it backwards. Dr. Dreyer used that in still DRE. He knew to limit his notes to the A minor scale when he went. And so on. Pretty cool, right? So that's A minor. Let's do B minor. So here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that again. Again, Dr. Dre knew to use that in nothing but a G thing when he went. He kept his notes limited to the B minor scale and wrote one of the catchiest, most timeless hooks in hip hop history. Here's C minor. Again, as you'll notice, the formula was whole, whole, half, excuse me, whole, half, whole, whole, half, whole, whole. I accidentally went into the major scale. Maybe we'll save that for another video. But the fingers I used, again, were one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Got it real smooth. I know it very fluently. Here's D minor. Here's E minor. Warren G and Nate Dogg you knew to <laughs> stick to the key of E minor when they wrote Regulate. By knowing that E minor scale, they just knew to stick to those notes and they'd have a hit. Biggie used it in Hypnotize along with P. Diddy. Sorry, I screwed that up. song absolutely bumps but anyways again just uses the notes of the E minor scale last scale I'll show you that uses one two three one two three four five G minor Tupac used that scale in California love So on. A lot of the more modern producers are using uh, C sharp or F sharp. You know, I, I've been teaching a lot of the more modern hip hop and they've been using a lot of the black key heavy minor scales. Get comfortable with some of your white key ones first and then get into the black key ones. You'll be successful and it'll come with practice. But make sure you understand the scale first before you start writing the music. And I promise your experience will be a lot more rewar rewarding and a lot less frustrating. So, it's your favorite piano teacher. I hope this helped you guys a lot. If this helped you out, I'd really appreciate it if you give this, if you would, uh, I can't even talk. If you'd give this video a like, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of new videos. Thanks so much.